There was once a young disciple of the Master Po. She came to Po one morning quite distraught. Throwing her book down, she said, This ancient book is sexist. There is no place for a woman in this concept of God. Po said, Things are not always as they appear, my child. Let me explain why this is so. Then you may find peace in yourself and with God. When you look upon a lit lamp, you see no sex, just the light. The lamp itself and the flame are insignificant to the purpose of the lamp. The lamp is the feminine and the flame the masculine. The very nature of these things demonstrate this truth. In a way, the lamp holds within its womb the child of the desire to create light. In Genesis it said, And the Spirit of God hovered over the waters of the deep, and said, Let there be light, and there was light. This desire we may term the father of the lamp and light. The lamp protects our inner being or flame from the elements so that this flame may achieve its desired purpose, that of creating the light of life. And Christ saith, I and the father are one. The desire for light and the light are united throughout all the worlds. The lamp, a pure virgin, heavenly blessed, to hold the Father's seed, and her shape, the lamp, is that of Venus, the morning star. Revelations 22 The Son of David and the bright and morning star. In the heavens we see not the shape of Venus, only her light, or child. And this is called the Son for it is one with the Father, or the desire for light. In another way, darkness is the mother of all light, as non-existence is the mother of all existence. In the womb of Venus is a child of light, and this child is of both genders. It is the fire of earth, the purifier of matter, for the flame is the earthly fire, carrying the divine will to be, as the body is the carrier of our being. Know this great truth. We are all daughters, carrying our inner light. But we are only ever sons when we realize this light. When looking at a lit lamp, the lamp becomes invisible for the light shineth on all who come within its presence. Love all, serve all.